So hi there. Um, in this video, we're going to continue what we have um, already done in our um, stronger principle of mathematical induction or the second principle of mathematical induction. So here, what we're going to do is to um, contend, prove uh, this Lucas sequence. Again, we just have a little bit of recall about this Lucas sequence here. Um, again, this Lucas sequence is composed of the integers. 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, 29, 47, 76, where the first um, term is 1, the second term is 3, and the next consecutive terms after that will be um, the sum of the one of the two terms before it. So for example, we can see here that um, 1 and 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, okay? 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 plus 7 is 11, 7 plus 11, 7, 11 is 18, and I think you can you can do the rest here. For all n um, greater than or equal to 3. So this only works on um, starting on 3. Okay, so what we want to prove here is we contend that the inequality a sub n is always less than 7 over 4 raised to n. Okay, and it we try to tell ourselves that this holds for every integer n. Okay, so the argument here actually is a bit of interesting, okay, because it, it is the inductive, because in the inductive step, it is necessary um, to know the truth for this inequality, okay, for two successive values of n in order to establish a truth for the following value, okay. So first of all, um, for n equals 1 and 2, we have, um, let's move here, so let's using this uh, same inequality, so let's copy that, um, a sub n is strictly less than 7 over 4 is to n. So for n for n equals 1 and 2, we have okay, so a sub 1, your a sub 1 is equal to 1, okay, strictly from, from the Lucas sequence. So recall that we have 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, um, 18 and so on. So for a sub 1, it's equal to 1. And let's see that this if this inequality holds. So um, 1 is said to be less than 7 over 4 raised to 1, which is equal to 7 over 4. And indeed, you know, 7 over 4 is, of course, greater than 1 if you want to have a stricter value of it. So 7 divided by 4 is 1.75. Okay, so this is equal to if we want to make it uh, improper. So this is one and three fourths. So well, um, clearly this one is greater than this one, right? It has a three fourths um, size than the integer one. Okay, for a sub two. So our second term here is, as we can see, is three. Okay, it is said to be less than seven over four raised to 2 since this is our second term okay and um we're going to square this what we have is 49 on 16 okay um 7 squared is 49 4 squared is 16 so let's try to distribute that or simplify so we can see that 3 16 okay is 48 so if we're going to have that in mixed number try to check okay and that's going to be 3 Okay, correct. 3, but with the additional of 1 over 16. Okay, we have a remainder 1 over 16. And again, clearly, 3 and 1 over 16 is strictly greater than 3. So the inequality holds for a sub 1 for the first term and for the second term, 1 and 3 successively. So the, the inequality in question um, holds in these first two cases, right? So this... Um, holds for the first two cases. This provides a basis for our induction then. So for our induction step, um, we need to pick an integer k which is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, so we need to pick a k. Okay, pick a k which is greater than or equal to 3 and assume that the inequality is valid for, we're going to assume that the inequality inequality is valid for 
um, for n oops, for n equals um, 1 2 up until up until we reach um, k minus 1 okay so then we have in particular so we can say we can have this a sub k minus 1 is said to be less than 7 over 4 raised to k minus 1 and also similarly we'll have the if we have k minus 1 here so the, the next the one term before it is k minus 2 a sub k minus 2 um, anyways can you check in your modules maybe I have written there instead of k minus 1 I, I think I have written k equals 1 and k equals 2 I'm very sorry about that k um, k over k uh, I mean um, 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 okay so um, by the way in which the Lucas sequence is formed it follows that um, using these two values here using these two values here um, we can say that a sub k is equal to a sub k minus 1 plus a sub k minus 2 correct okay so this is the, the, the definition for the for the Lucas sequence okay for all k greater than or equal to 3 that's our primary and um, most important condition so it is said to be um, equal to this okay so we say that this is less than we're going to write this here 7 over 4 raised to k minus 1 plus uh, 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 now we want to um, little, um, manipulate this part uh, maybe I can write this one this first term 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 plus 1 right so k minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1 so I'll write it that way y in a while let me show you why k minus 2 k minus 2 um, please understand that this is an exponent okay minus 2 okay I'm trying to fit it so we have um, what happens here is that I'm going to get the the common factor and the common factor here in this example is this so we have the 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 and the 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 so what I'm going to do is to get that out of the picture and if, if I'm going to do that what we will have is um, you'll put it here what we will have is 7 over 4 okay this is gonna become uh, I'm going to get the factor the common factor first so we have k minus 2 and um, in this term we have a plus 1 remaining so this plus one um, by the product law or the law of product in our in our exponents this plus one can be written as um, maybe you can imagine it like 7 over 4 oops 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 times oops times 7 over 4 raised to 1 okay so by the product law um, if the bases are the same we're going to add the exponents right so meaning this plus one actually is can be written um, into a multiplication again okay, into an as a factor of 7 over 4 raised to 1 so if we're going to get the k minus 2 out of it so wait, what is left is this part okay this part so just a reminder for this term it can be written here it can be written like this they are equal so meaning if there's a plus one here in the exponent part there is one remaining a like seven over four in this part um raised to one um raised to one so seven over four raised to one so i think it's okay not to write that anymore okay since it's we're just raising it to one and of course in this part in this other addends that's going to be just one okay so that's our first part of manipulation maybe we can s simplify this term here so this will be equal to um, 7 over 4 all raised to k minus k minus 2 times um, this becomes this one will become 4 over 4 so 7 plus 4 plus 4 is 11 over the their LCD least common denominator 11 over 4 
Okay, so from this, we can see this one. Um, 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 times 11 over 4 is strictly less than. Okay, this is strictly less than um, 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2 um, times 7 over 4 raised to 2. Why did we do that? Um, we did that because um, 7 over 4 k minus 2 times 7 over 4 squared. Okay, again, by the laws of product, this becomes 7 over 4. This becomes um, 7 over 4. Oops. Oops. Okay. Maybe we can move that a little bit. 7 over 4. Uh, raise to k minus 2 plus 2. Okay, we're running out of space here <laughs> in a while. K minus 2 plus 2. Plus 2. Okay, so ultimately this will become simply 7 over 4 raised to K. And yeah, that's that that takes up quite um, some space. But uh, maybe you can just see the inequalities um, seen here. So we have a over, a over k is equal to this um, combination of these terms. So this is strictly less than seven over four um, by the by the one we con we are contending. So raised to k minus one plus seven over four raised to k minus two. So doing the algebra, we can see that this one is, is okay. We can see that this one is strictly less than k. 7 over 4 raised to k. Okay, so in all of the values, since the inequality is true, um, let's have it here. Um, in short, maybe I can write it like this. So a over k to summarize, k minus 1 plus a over k minus 2 is less than um, 7 over 4 raised to k minus 1. Um, plus 7 over 4 raised to k minus 2, which is less than, uh, as we have proved in the slide before, we have seen here that this is less than 7 over 4 raised to k. So, over 4 raised to Okay, if you want, again, the proofs and the algebraic manipulations, we can always uh, work, it, work it all out here. Okay. Um, okay, so here is, here is the one thing here. Um, if you want, we can always um, change this into, or better give the inequality that we have proved, k minus 2. K minus 2, um, 11 over 4, okay, is less than 7 over 4 raised to k. Okay, so this is your a sub k. So from here, um, since the inequality is true for n equals k, since the inequality, since the inequality, Um, is true for n equals k whenever it is true for all for the integers okay whenever it is true uh, for the integers Um, 1, 2, uh, k minus 1. Okay, so therefore, by the by the stronger by the stronger version of induction, shall, or shall we say, shall we call it by the second uh, principle of mathematical induction? Let's abbreviate it as PMI. 
Okay, by the second principle of mathematical induction, okay, so we conclude that um, A sub N is always strictly less than 7 over 4 raised to N for all N greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and that's the end of proof for our Lucas sequence, that the one that we contended with. Okay, and that also gives us the end for our stronger version of um, induction. Okay, and also I think this is the, the last part of our principle of mathematical induction. Okay, so thank you for staying with me all, all, all along the way. Um, in the next batch of videos, I'm going to create um, content okay, about the binomial theorem its coefficients and um, also the Pascal's triangle and the identity. Okay, so thank you. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah, see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.